Okay, take two of this. Uh, Ninja Mom here, and I am with a week worth of empties, home fragrance, cleaning, the whole shebang. Anything that smells pretty is in this video for y'all. Caesar, quiet. First things first, I emptied a Scentsy Go Go Mango counter clean. I'm having to redo this because I, yeah. Mail has been a nightmare. The UPS showed up with my Sensi. They can manage to do their job, but USPS is giving me a nightmare. Okay. Then I emptied two different scent pods. Pumpkin Tiramisu, which also has a vanilla bean buttercream in it because I like to blend those two. And then Clothesline. Love Clothesline. It's such a great scent for bedroom or in the kitchen for, you know, that clean, fresh feel. Awesome for that. And then I have one candle. This is the Pinkberry Crisp from Goose Creek. This is a great candle. It smells very good. I would, um, I will not burn it again because of what happened. I'm not one of those people that when it's lit, I do this to extinguish. I blow out, put it in the front of my exhaust fan to suck all the smoke out of the candle so it doesn't go in. And it's still about right here took on that burnt candle smell. So I wouldn't burn it again, but it did really, really perform well when it was burning. I would love to get another one and chop it up and use it in my warmer like I do my other candles. We're gonna go through all these bags. So some of these scents are from the 12 Days of Christmas advent calendar I had bought in for my youngest from Earth Goddess Treasure Box that he loves her stuff. Especially, we love her blueberry muffin and her Grinch scents and pistachio. Anyways, so all these bags are, yeah. So some of the samples that I did melt through. One is from Earth Goddess Treasure Box in Holiday Cabernet. This was your berry wine scent. It was good. Um, I'm not super into those scents, but it was kind of fun to have one. Um, just even a little sample of it to kind of have something different. I enjoy having samples of different stuff that I typically wouldn't melt to kind of throw myself for fun there. The next one, and I would love to repurchase this one, is Strawberry Pound Cake Santa's on Keto Beach Nights from L3. Oh my god, this was a little heart and it was the only thing I had to melt in my entire front room, living room, office, dining room, and main living room. Not kidding you. This thing was powerhouse. And you could smell that beach nights and that super awesome strawberry pound cake she has. Oh my gosh, I can't talk highly enough about it. It is that good. Then we have L3's Boardwalk Mellow Cloud Sugar Cookie Royale. Don't cross streams. We all know your girl is not about uh, the Boardwalk Marshmallow at all. But this one I did really enjoy. I was shocked, but it was so good. It was very creamy. It was pretty. It was vanilla. It was bakery. It was all of that and then some. So I really did actually end up enjoying that one. Then we had Earth Goddess Treasure Boxes, Naughty Santa. This was a sample she sent. This was a spiked eggnog for sure. Um, I love this. This had eggnog, it had bakery, it had that boozy note to it. It was really good. Great, great for the holiday season. Totally digging. Then we have Cupcakes at Tiffany's Zucchini Bread from L3. This was one of her Bitty Betty's 5-ounce loaves. This was really, really good by itself, but I loved blending with this because it added that bakery from the zucchini and the cupcake at Tiffany's that just bumped up any scent. I'm so sorry I'm looking over this way because I have tons of packages coming you guys that are for Christmas and one of them has been in limbo and I'm just kind of freaking out about it a little bit. Then we have Cupcake Cuppy Cakes at Tiffany's from Earth Goddess Treasure Box. This was a souffle pie. Absolutely amazing. I've already repurchased another one. This one I could see myself buying year round. This was a beautiful decadent cupcake at Tiffany's with that amazing creamy buttermint and candy cane icing type thing going on. It was so good. I have a whole another one and I probably will continue to buy that throughout even the summer because it's just amazing. We have L3 Bitty Betty in Maraschino Cherry Sweet Cream Sugar Shortbread Sugar Cookie Royale. 
this was so, so, so good. I be loving some cherry. I used to freaking hate cherry and wax. I thought it smelled like fake candy or Kool-Aid or cough medicine. But there are some vendors that just know how to tweak and work with it. And they can show it some love. L3 is one of them. Then we have Closet Full of Waxes, Mrs. Claus Cookies. This was an 8-ounce bag. Her Mrs. Claus Cookies is extremely strong. I've had several people's Mrs. Claus Cookies. And I would say the top two vendors I have found it from would be Waxident um, and Closet Full of Wax. Now, these are part of the Advent. Okay, yep. These are all part of the Advent that... Um, my little got and melted through. They all came in these super cute bags. We still have, obviously, a few days. It lasts all the way up to Christmas. Came in these super cute bags with these little labels. This was from Earth Goddess Treasure Box. Um, and it came with, every one of them came with a super big size chunk of wax. I don't have any that are right next to me. Oh, I do. Okay. So this one, I'm just going to hide the scent. So this, they came in full size pieces. This is cute little bells and glitter and stuff. They all came in big pieces like that. So the first one you guys have heard me rave about because I already bought another loaf in it, which is the Earth Goddess Treasure Boxes. I just took a DNA test. Turns out I 100% that Grinch. This is a amazing, amazing pistachio, macaroon pistachio dream cake, pistachio cream, pistachio amazingness. This is un freaking real good she has the pet the best one she's one of the people that has the best pistachio fragrance oils ever if you don't like that super cherry stuff if you're talking like bhg's pistachio macaroon but hyped up super strong amazing creamy nutty beautifulness that's what it is then we have let's get ready to christmas which was a delicious cherry slushy or like cherry mountain dew soda type scent it was very fizzy and bright beautiful cherry syrups type scent it was really good then we have i'm on the nice list i believe this was another cherry type scent yeah this was another cherry pie this is more like a cherry pie type scent this one had that cherry pie crust crumbly goodness like cherry pie filling going on and it had some other really good scents in it i don't remember all the notes to it my other phone is currently charging that has all of that on it so sorry then we had breakfast with santa these are not all of them that we have melted through because we did not melt through all of them yet and even on for the days that we don't have here um we haven't even melted all those still this was a Delicious blueberry muffin. She has the best blueberry muffin oil I have ever had. It literally smells like the Duncan Hines blueberries. Uh, the blueberry muffins that you can buy in the packs. That's exactly what it smells like. I know because I made some this morning. Um, and that's exactly what it smells like. It is such a good scent. Love it, love it, love it. And it was mixed with like syrup and some buttery notes it was just so good so good and i would repurchase that in a heartbeat then we're gonna go through all the cake well let's finish off the earth goddess that i have right here i finished off a clam of earth goddess treasure box sugar cookies this is really good this is a very soft moist sugar cookie not too sweet with a more of a sour cream type powder sugar frosting. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but in my family, we have made them with sour cream and stuff and they're delicious. It has that vanilla, that rich fit, like Madagascar vanilla. Um, yeah, it, it's really, really good. If you don't like that super oversweet, but definitively dense, creamy, um, type sugar cookie, then this is your deal. And then we have another one of her amazing blueberry muffin, blueberry pumpkin patch type blends and this is her halloween town i have purchased this quite a few times i absolutely love it it's so good uh i need to get all of these scents that i'm telling you i love so much in loafs so i'm set for a while on them then we have a scoop sample from l3 
right here in cuppy cake confetti sprinkles. I was not sold on this beach. Nope. 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 This was a perfumey cupcake. I think the confetti sprinkles is got a funky perfume note to it. And that's what I got from this. I don't like this one at all. Not to be rude. And I love L3 and she's like literally in my top five vendors. Um, she's amazing, but I did not feel this one. Then we have K's. These are all K's right here. And we're going to start with her cup of cup o Kringle, which is mint chocolate chip espresso and sugar waffle cone. And this literally smells like if you were to take some good ass chocolate, mint chocolate chip ice cream, pile it into a beautiful warm waffle cone, and just drizzle on a espresso reduction sauce. Oh! That is literally what this smells like. So freaking good. I loved the dark chocolate element in this. It was such a dark chocolate. You could almost taste it smelling it. It was so good. So good would repurchase. Then we have her Cuban coffee, which is just a really good, strong, robust, caramelly, lightly roasty and smoky type coffee scent. It's really, really good. I loved it by itself and I loved blending with it. We have her pistachio macaroon, and this, you guys, is more of that cherried type pistachio macaroon, but it was really good. Um, I love pistachio in every aspect. I just have, like, the one certain pistachio that I go gaga over, and then the other ones are very nice. So I would repurchase that, too. Then I, she had sent me a sample of Bonfire Bliss, which I typically don't do these type scents, but this one was actually really nice, and it was very, very strong. Then I have two Cupcake of Tiffany's from her. I have this one, and that, whoop, I have a one ounce and a two ounce cup of her Cupcake of Tiffany's. It is your, your normal Cupcake of Tiffany's, which I love. Um, but it was very, very strong. It was very powerhouse. You could smell all the different things that go into it. Beautiful scent. Love it and would repurchase it again. Then we have her sugar cookie confection. This is literally pink frosted animal crackers or cookies or whatever you guys want to call them. The pink and white cookies with the sprinkles on them. That's what this is. It has a cherry note to it. It's got that vanilla cookie note and the frosting. Very good. Very good. Okay, so next we're going to get into my Scentsies that I emptied. We are getting ready to transition out of this these seasons and into news. And as a consultant, um, I can repurchase all of this stuff. So I have been going through trying out new scents so that I could give my honest review on scents that I had not tried or scents that I had tried. Um, and I like to come up with a lot of mixies this way for you guys. So we melted some. So I melted a jammy time in my son's room. Very good. And I'm going to be repurchasing a vanilla bean buttercream. Y'all know I be loving this scent. You see it in my empties all the time. That ain't nothing new. Then we had breakfast in bed. Another delicious scent. Apple butter frosting. Delicious. You guys know I love pretty much everything that scents these. So I ain't got to say a lot. Cloudberry Dreams on hand. I can't do this one. Um, the rose is too dominant in it for me. It is a very pretty scent. It is a very peachy, fruity rose. But rose for me is a big, whoop, not going to happen. Then we have Blueberry Cheesecake. We have Caramel Apple Craze. This is one of my favorites. I actually have a room spray sitting right up there. I have to keep pausing because I can be in the mom's mom's winter break. You guys winter breaks here. Okay. Then we have Stroop Waffle Delight. This is a sugar cookie. Caesar be quiet. Then we have butter pecan. Luna. Chibi Luna. And apple cherry strudel. <sighs> Melted through all those. Then I emptied a hug in a mug, apple crush, rainbows and butterflies. There are, yes, I'd be melting that stuff right now because 
Um, sometimes I just don't want a heavy holiday scent. I just want something funny and fruit. Strawberry taffy. And then we got some Bring Back My Bars. I emptied a Central Park Praline. This scent is to die for. And these are all in my club. Marshmallow Mint. Absolutely love this scent. It has given me a whole new outlook on what Amber can do to scents. <laughs> and then Pumpkin Marshmallow. Love this scent so much. It is so, so good. So that is all of my empties, you guys. I have so many more videos you'll see me in today. Um, I hope that everybody had a good time and enjoyed my empties. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Comment down below any of these scents you've tried yourself or are planning on maybe trying or any of the vendors you're going to be trying. So let me know. I hope you guys have a great holiday season and are enjoying winter. Bye.